Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze and I'm a YouTuber based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. You guys, I'm kind of tuning with my background today, okay? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so today's video, we're going to talk about something really important and that is why women are broke, okay? Why most women are broke. Okay, so this video doesn't just apply to women only, it applies to everybody who falls into the category that I mentioned. But yeah, I'm focusing more on women simply because most of my audience are women. So yeah, that is why I am you know, channeling this video towards women. But anybody that watches this can take one or two things away from this. We need to start having discussions like this because they are very, very important and they affect our lives in numerous ways, okay? So if you've been watching my videos for a while, especially this year, I've been doing a lot of videos concerning women. And that's because I think a lot of women, a lot of us are not having the important discussions that we should be having. The kind of discussions I even see online sometimes. Uh, who is supposed to sit in front? Is the wife or mother-in-law? Uh, why do you want Like, all those kind of discussions are very, very trivial as far as I'm concerned. Simply because there are so many things that we should be talking about as human beings and as women. And the fact that I have daughters now, um, it has made me start focusing my attention more on so many things because I need to teach them what's important i need to raise them to be strong independent you know beautiful human beings so yeah if you like to know the reasons why a lot of women are broke and will continue to stay broke if they don't change then just keep on watching all right so i think the first major reason why so many people so many women are broke is because we were not taught financial intelligence from an early age okay from an early age we're not taught how to you know handle finances we were not taught financial you know there was no financial education for us growing up a lot of us started learning how to manage money way into our 20s when things started happening when i said okay we need to sit down and learn these things okay but even at that point we've already formed bad habits with money you know negative relationship with money we've already formed really bad habits at surrounding money so when we now started learning this in our 20s in our 30s it was kind of not late it's not late it's never too late but it now started becoming more difficult to make appropriate changes okay so a lot of us were not taught if you're one of those people who from an early age your parents taught you how to save how to invest how to make money work for you how to have a positive relationship with money you are among the few okay very few you are a unicorn okay and it's not because our parents we are nonchalant or didn't want to teach us these things it's because they themselves did not know their parents did not teach them those ones their own parents did not teach them too so you will see that it has now become a generational ignorance okay that become generational ignorance if you don't know there's something called generational wealth and there's something also called generational poverty and generational poverty will continue to go on as long as people in that lineage do not make change so you have to learn about financial intelligence like these days google is everywhere google is your friend so go online look for courses look for youtube videos things that will teach you how to manage money we were not taught we we're not taught in schools we we're not taught by our parents even if, even people that read fi finance in school maybe finance or whatever I'm sure a lot of them still do not even know what they should do in a real life situation because they were not taught, okay? So yeah, my point is a lot of us were not taught as kids and that's what's affecting us now as adults. And like I said, my audience, most of my, most of my audience are between 24 and 35, which is the childbearing age for most people. A lot of us now are parents, a lot of us now have children. Do not continue that ignorance. Do not carry it on to the next generation, okay? Start now to learn about money and how to teach your kids about money in a way that they will understand it for their level so like for me for me my kids are four and two and you know as parents you have the tendency to see your kids as younger than they really are like to me eva is still a baby baby cora is still a small child okay that's to me but some things that cora will say because she's a very smart child some things that cora will say and i'm like okay this child really needs to learn like now they already know um i want to go and buy this thing mommy go and buy this thing for me they already know that they already know this is money they already know i know that uh eva calls every money 100 naira the water this should tell you is 100 naira you know cora might try and call that figures but but they, they know they know something they know something so as little as they are, start teaching them about, about discipline with money. A lot of us do not have discipline with money. About discipline with money, delayed gratification. You know, just 
Start teaching your kids about finances. The fact that your parents did not do it for you does not mean that you should continue to wallow in ignorance or you should now start doing the same disservice to your children. Okay, so now the second reason I think most women are broke, okay, is because we are too concerned about what other people think. We are so concerned about it and social media is not helping matters at all. I know a lot of women like to deny that they, that, that they care what people think. A lot of people like to deny it. No, I don't really care. I'm doing my own thing. I'm being my own person. It is a lie. You care so much about what other people think, okay? You are buying into this idea that you need more. You need more clothes. You need more makeup. You need more shoes. You need more bags. So I'm not saying that you should not buy nice things. You should not have nice, th nice things. I am saying that still have it at the back of your mind that you might not need this thing that you are buying simply because you cannot afford it. A lot of us are living above our means. And it is more peculiar with women. I'm saying this now because it is more peculiar with women. You hardly see men posting pictures on the, on Instagram just for the sake of likes. You hardly see men doing it. I'm not saying men don't do it, but you hardly see men who just go on Instagram and post pictures for the sake of likes. And they're not selling anything, they're not advertising anything, they're not superstars, they're not, they're just ordinary, everyday human beings just posting things for the sake of likes. You hardly see it. Okay, so these are problems that are kind of peculiar to women. Do you know that women drive between 70 to 80% of consumer purchasing let that sink in like of all the things that are purchased in this life that consumers purchase in this life women drive 70 to 80 percent of it like how and how many women do we have in this world i'm, I'm sure Rachel, of men to women will be 50 50 or with men even being a little higher i think we have more men in this world than women yeah i'm not sure but yeah we have more men in this world than women so those people that tell me that uh, men are scarce uh, this, no actually men are not scarce we have more men in this world than women you, you guys can check it out and i'll check it out and if it is true i will put it through in this video while i'm editing it anyway so all i'm just trying to say is that a lot of women do emotional buying we buy on the whim we are, we are very impulsive with our buyings simply because of what we see on social media because of we want to impress people um how many actual bees do you possibly need like how many actual bees do you need if you cannot afford it, that's, that's my point. And by saying if you cannot afford it, I don't mean that just because you have the money you can afford it. No, just because you can pay for something doesn't mean that you can truly afford it. There are so many things that go into factoring whether you can afford something or not. Okay, so that's a, a whole ball game, a whole different discussion on its own. But yeah, the fact that you have the cash does not mean you can afford some of the things that you are buying. You see, you hardly see men live way above their means simply because they cannot even beg who will give them but for women you might even you even see men that don't even have jobs but they are kind they're using very big phones who bought it for them is a boyfriend or is a man or is a distant because that's just the way life is i'm not saying it's bad i'm just saying that is the way life is okay so we women need to stop living above our means we should stop feeling like there's some things that we need that we need to buy you don't need it you want it it is not a need there's many things that there's many things that we buy as if they are a need, they are not a need, it's just something that you want, just because something that you like, okay? I am guilty of it, that's why I'm saying this thing with my chest, because I know I'm, I am guilty of it. How many eyeliners can you possibly buy? You have just two eyes, okay? How many lip glosses can you possibly own? They all do the same thing. Most of them do the same thing, just to make your lips shine. So at the end of the day, we women have to sit down and really analyze some of the things that we spend our money on. Some of us do not know how to save okay we don't know how to save and that is just the truth and the reason why it is important to save is not just for you to save for the sake of saving is for you to have money to invest for you to have money to work for you for you to be able to pay yourself a salary from your savings not from your salary okay the reason why most women are broke is not because they are not earning enough it's because they are spending more than they are earning that's not the truth my husband always says this if you are spending more than you are earning you are a poor person it doesn't matter how much you earn if there's an increment in your earnings for instance let's say you were earning 100k before now you're earning 150k once you increase your spending to 150k you are still poor you have cancelled out your increase you have you know you balanced out the poverty so all i'm trying to say is this if you think that the reason why you are broken because you're not earning enough you better think again you have to change your mindset you have to because the moment you work harder and you earn more money you are still going to remain broke because you have increased your spending to your earning so what i would advise most women is this the fact that you earn more doesn't mean that you should now start buying the latest this the more expensive that still try as much as possible to maintain your former spending 
irrespective of how much you increase instead increase your savings if your salary increases increase your savings i'm going to number out this point but at this point i'm not going to be saying everything as coming to my head okay yeah so i hope you guys understand how everything i'm just trying to say try and limit the influence of social media on your spending the influence of people around you on your spending okay if you earn more money rather save more money so that you get to a stage where the money you have saved the money you have saved you now invest it, and that investment will start yielding you money you can now use to enjoy your life okay delay gratification if you do not buy that shoe you are not going to die madam you know yourself you know yourself if you do not buy that shoe you are not going to die the world will still move on you will still be fine people will still see you as a beauty that you are i'm sure that if we check it out you will see that you have spent so much money just because you are on instagram i'm telling you the facts just because you are on instagram you have spent way more money than you have spent than you would have spent if you are not scrolling through instagram that's just the truth for many of us for those who are trying to save more i use Piggy Vest, okay? Piggy Vest is an app where you link your account to it using your card, your debit card. Then you can now set different kind of saving goals for yourself. And the app just helps you organize everything. You can lock money for a certain period of time. So you can't touch it throughout that period of time and you get your interest on it. You can lock money. You can set it to be, with, to be debiting your account daily. It's almost like um a jaw or what they call it is it a jaw not a jaw almost like a susun you know it's a pretty much piggy bank it was even called piggy bank ng before pretty much your piggy bank so you can set it to put to always withdraw 500 naira from your account every day i was doing that at some point you can also let's say you just get bulk money and you know that you'll be tempted to spend that money quickly just go to the app and add that money to your savings so the piggy vest app will just debit the money immediately you maybe you, you put that order on your on your app it's going to debit it from your account and you're good to go and piggy vest has fewer um withdrawal days i think you can only withdraw three times a year or four times a year so all these things help you save see remove the control from yourself when you know that you don't have self-control in this aspect just tell yourself the truth that see when it comes to money, I do not have self-control. Then what do you do next? Remove that control from yourself. Don't be trying. Don't say this year is my year of having self-control. No. We know that you will still not have that self-control this year. So put that control on something else that can help you. Okay? Try and get help with the control. Don't say, no, I'm going to exercise my willpower. That willpower will not work. I, you, me and you know. We've been saying this since how many years now? Me and you know that it's not work. So go and download this app. And yeah, I also have a link in my description box to my piggy vest um, account so if you click that link it's like my referral link so if you click that link and set up your own piggy vest um, account you are going to get a thousand naira to start with so it will give you one thousand naira in your account so that you can start with and start investing so it's a very good idea so if you want to start using the app please click the link in the description box is a link for you to set up your account and you also get one thousand dollars this is not sponsored but i got the link when i started my own um savings and i've really enjoyed it so yeah so you guys should just click on the link and start saving so anyway all i'm trying to say is that remove that control from yourself if it means going to your bank to tell them that they should not give you or if it means that when you open your, your account you don't collect your acm card you have no access to that account either what you want to do do it okay what i like about piggy vest is that you get 10 percent per annum on any money you saved here and then if you want to get more percentage more interest you can lock your money you can also do some some different investment and a little and some investments i did on the app you can do for rice farm pig farming so there are so many investment opportunities for you on the piggy vest app that's why i like it so not only can you save money you can also invest money you guys it is very very important this 2020 we are not really we are not we're not continuing the way we continued we did last year okay like i said i'm not saying it's a bad thing there's so many things that i've gotten just by watching youtube and i'm like thank god this youtuber showed it to me or thank god this you know uh, instagram vendor or instagram um influencer showed it to me so i'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm saying just be more conscious of that influence on your life be more conscious of the influence and find a way to walk around it so that you won't just become a victim of you know poverty <laughs> Anyway, you just want, you just be a bye-bye person, okay? So another point I would like to say, this one is a little bit controversial, but to be honest, these are things that need to be said. So I am going to say it. I'm going to make myself the scapegoat. I'm going to say it. Anybody wants to get angry, that's your business, okay? Yeah. 
so another reason why a lot of women are broke is because we women are concerned more with family than with making money it is our biological makeup generally okay majority of women are more concerned with having a partner having a family finding love between before the age of this before the age of that finding love more women most women are more concerned than that than with making money or saving money that is just the truth of the matter okay and it's not a bad thing because we all have a biological clock that is way shorter than that of the men okay our biological clock for reproduction is shorter than that of men so women think more of you know getting a family before that clock runs out than men that is why you see a woman between women most women between 18 19 Yes, a lot of us are were in school, a lot of us are, you know, a lot of us are in school, a lot of us have graduated, a lot of us have jobs, a lot of us are trying to make money. Yes, that is we do that. But our main focus is not really the making money aspect. It's really we're making money just to be doing something so that we don't die, so that we can survive before we get our husband and children. That is what a lot of women are. That is a priority on our list, okay? So you see more women, actually, as you begin to progress. In life, when you start getting to 20, 20, 23, 24, 25, you start thinking more about starting a family, having a family. So making you don't drive making money or saving money or investing money. You don't you don't you don't focus more of your energy on it. And it's not a bad thing because somebody has to think about it. If you leave it for the men, the world will go extinct. Okay, more women focus more on having a family and finding love and having children while men focus on making money their goal is just i want to make money even when the, the thought of relationship and and children come up their first thought is okay i need to make money so that i'll be able to take care of my wife and children but as women we don't think about to make money so i can take care of my husband and children what we think of is i need a husband and a child okay so yeah that's part of that's part of the reason why a lot of women earn less than men that is just the truth because we cannot sacrifice um that our innate desire to have children or to have a, a, a loving family we can't sacrifice this for work because to be honest work is not going to keep you warm at night that's just the truth <laughs> okay so in a nutshell basically my message in this video is simple okay first of all while you are aspiring to marriage also remember that if you don't get married or if marriage gets delayed or even when you get that married, if your husband is not doing well, you are still going to need to make money, okay? And still going to need to have money. So focus a lot of your energy on saving. Like I said, save. When you save, you can even make money work for you so that you can have the freedom to take care of your husband and children the way you want to. Yeah, it doesn't mean that you must be working. You can actually save up enough money, invest it, like I said, invest your money and the returns on that investment every year is enough for you to live life very well that is what is my goal anyway so i'm just putting it out there my goal is for me to save up enough money that the interest on that money is what i'm going to live on comfortably so i can have the freedom to pursue my goals i don't want to be working for the rest of my life i'm sorry i don't work for the rest of my life and my natural inclination is not to work i don't really like work i don't like it <laughs> okay i don't like it i don't like when when if i don't do this thing i will not eat i don't like that feeling okay I, li I like the freedom of expressing my creativity the way i want to and if i have to depend on my work to eat i wouldn't be doing youtube okay i wouldn't be doing youtube the way i'm doing it because man gosh chop and, and youtube when you start paying me and how much are they even paying me a month what, what youtube pays me a month is not enough for me to live independently on my own okay work but when you're working also remember that you cannot work forever Okay, try and make investments that will continue to work for you even when you cannot physically work. Have investments that will work for you even when you lose your job. Okay, some people, if you lose your job today, you have nothing. That is, <laughs> that is a very dangerous situation to be in. Like, if you lose your job today now, in the next one month, you're going, to be, you're going to be dead broke. That is a very dangerous situation to be in. So, have investments. And how do you have investments? Start from anywhere you are. So, like I said, the Piggyverse app I have now. I started to be debiting me 500 naira every day and it just keeps debiting me. Sometimes I don't, even, I don't even remember that the thing is even still working. It's just one day, I'll just be like, ah, let me even check this app and I'll see money then and be like, ah, thank God I kept this, I put this in on auto debit, okay? Sometimes when I have maybe bulk money come in one way or the other, 
or maybe I don't spend as much as I usually spend that much. I take the money and put it in my piggy vest account. Those are simple practical ways of saving money. Cut down on your spending. Yeah, especially those of us that are you know on youtube on social media you feel like oh if i have to look a certain way to keep up with you know social media to keep up with the joneses to keep up with the kardashians of social media trust me you don't have to okay find ways of achieving the same results without spending so much money so yeah i think i've talked too much in this video i hope this video is coherent i'll just i just this is almost like a rant i just came out to just say things you know the way the way they have been in my head Recently, I've been punching on these things and like I said because I have children who are girls I'm not thinking no first of all. I have to teach them how to manage their finances from an early age um, Like in my own case my children don't have a village We always say oh it takes a village to raise a child my kids don't have a village to raise them all Aside their teachers in school and at church uh, Me and my husband are the only ones that raise my kids my family are not even in Port Harcourt My mom is not here. My father is not here. So they don't even have grandma and grandpa to raise them It's just me and my husband and it's, to a large extent it's just me because of our family dynamics and his job and all that so As a woman out there if you're a woman like me and you know that most women are the ones that actually raise kids. Let's just let's just be frank. Let's just tell ourselves the truth. Most women are the ones who actually raise these kids because they spend more time with the kids, okay? So what you imbibe in your children is what is going to stick. 90% of the time, 99% of the time is what you put in them that is what's going to stick. And it's not just what you put in them, what to say to them. It's what you do as a person that's going to stick for your kids. So that is why this message is important to most of you out there please leave a comment in the comment section if there are any more reasons you feel why women are broke please leave these comments in the comment section i would really like to hear you guys opinion i'd like to hear your points if there's anything i said that you don't agree with i would really really love to hear from you and i will try as much as possible to respond to every single comment on this video okay so even if you just put dots i will respond to the dots okay <laughs> even if you just put an emoji hi i will respond back okay i'm going to try my best to do that so yeah let's get this discussion popping what do you guys think so what are the good habits you are trying to imbibe concerning money okay yeah so thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you all in my next one bye Mwah.